Okay, cool. Well, uh, well, I'm Joe, by the way. Hi, Joe. I'm Mary. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. Thanks for hopping on. And uh, yeah, I just saw your page one day and I was like, oh, you make some cool posts, you know, going to locations and uh, just kind of want to know, like, where, where did it all start for you and kind of what are your interests in that area and film in general? Yeah. So I love talking about this. Um, so honestly, this all started and, and I, I, I pretty much consider myself an amateur at this point still. Um, I was a big fan of Breaking Bad and, you know, Breaking Bad was filmed on, on location primarily in Albuquerque. And for years I'd heard there's a Breaking Bad tour you can take and you can go visit all these locations. And I was just like, oh, that sounds like so much fun. I want to do that. And so in June of 2019, I finally did. I finally went out there and I had my list of all the places and I went around and, um, one thing just led to another and I guess I got the bug (laughs) and then um, I wanted to go see more locations not just in Albuquerque but other productions in other cities Um, you know it's it's actually I'm going back to Albuquerque to redo some of the stuff I did in June of 2019 because at that point I had no clue what I was getting myself into. Um, I just wanted to see the spaces in real life and stand there in that spot. And so I actually took some pictures of just the building without me even in it because I I had no clue. Um, But one thing led to another and I I met one person who introduced me to another person. And eventually I was introduced to someone that was huge, just very inspiring to me. And now that quality isn't good enough for me. I want to do better. I want to keep doing better. Um, You know, it went from just having the space to having my picture in front of the space to then wanting to recreate an actual, you know, scene or shot or angle from the show. Um, So I'm trying to get better with each time, trying to get a little more creative. So it's not just same old, same old, um, that that's where it all came from. And it just sort of exploded. Um, I've always loved film and television. It's just kind of been my passion. I've always loved to travel and I've always loved to take pictures of everything. So it kind of marries my three interests all into one amazing hobby. And I can't even find the words to describe it. It's just euphoric to go exploring these places. Um, To stand there in the spot is one thing, um, but also it gives you such an appreciation for all the work that goes into these productions. Right. To see see these like, Breaking Bad and Better Call Saul is a perfect one. These locations that these people pick, the people that are charged with finding the location, it's phenomenal, the job they do. Um, I mean, they must go really out of their way to find some of these spots, but they literally find the perfect spot for every scene. I mean, it's a tremendous amount of work and I have a huge amount of appreciation for all that goes on um, you know, behind the scenes, not just what we see in front of the camera. Um, and um, just getting to be there, it's also a way of almost, I don't know if they recognize this, but it's a way of paying homage, a little tribute to sure. them that we want to go out and see these spaces, document what they look like now. You know, imitation is the highest form of flattery. Totally. Um, so it's all of that combined and it just makes me, <laughs> you know, Walter White had a classic line at the end of Breaking Bad. He said, I liked it. I was good at it it made me feel alive. And that's exactly how I feel about this hobby that I just stumbled into a couple of years ago. <laughs> I love that. That's, that's awesome. That's a great quote. Um, but that's so interesting because, you know, I've talked to a couple other people in the, in the community and it's definitely growing as social media has been kind of growing up kind of, you know, I've been into it for a few years now and it's kind of cool to see who, you know, how many other people are into it that I had no idea. And they kind of had a similar experience and it's hard to explain that feeling of when you're on site somewhere it's like because people are like why do you like doing it I'm like I just can't explain it you know like I'm a big horror fan so like you know I was at um you know I went to Pasadena and um the original Michael Myers house from Halloween and I remember just being there and I was like there's just you can't describe the feeling like I I, I gotta do that one I I, because Halloween come on you know that's my yeah definitely Oh. Yeah, I can't describe it either. I know there are some people that probably think we have all lost our ever loving <laughs> mind. But um, if you have an appreciation for film and all the work that goes into it, not just the actors on the screen, because there's a lot more that goes into it. Mm-hmm. And you love to travel and you love new adventures and you love discovery. There's just it's all of that combined. Um, and like I said, it does pay homage to the project. I hope um, yeah. I hope they recognize it that way. And also, um, 
you know, when I'm going somewhere, if it's a private residence, I try to be very respectful. I try, you know, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. avoid trespassing. But when it's a business, I, I give them business. So, right, right. Um, you know, I'm not just going there for me. I'm going to, you know, they're, they're putting their business in the production has actually brought them business. So I hope they recognize that as well. But um, sure. I absolutely love it. And I had no idea. I had no idea this universe existed. Like I said, I, I, met one person who had introduced me to another who introduced me to another and all of a sudden I'm posting things and people are liking it and like you I'm finding more and more people doing it and I'm like whoa <laughs> <laughs> I can't I can't catch up I, there's more people out there than I've probably even discovered yet it just mm-hmm. keeps exploding oh 100 percent and you keep seeing you know I keep seeing videos and no, move more photos every every day and it's like yeah I the list just keeps on growing and it's it's fascinating it's very interesting to see. And I guess during lockdown, I mean, it was a really good activity to do, you know, kind of driving around and kind of being by yourself for a little bit, at least in the, you know, not the city areas, but um, yeah, I don't know. That's, that's super fascinating to me. Um, So you, you know, you're breaking bad, better call Saul. Is there anything else that, you know, what else do you into and what other locations have you visited that you really enjoyed? Let's say, well, um, and it's funny because some places I went to before this hobby started and now I'm like, you <laughs> dummy <laughs> right right <laughs> you know, why didn't you um but uh since i've discovered this hobby um recently went to georgia with a couple of friends and we did ozark sorry there's oh, so cool no, you're fine <laughs> um i spent some time in savannah i did a few things from forrest gump who doesn't love forrest gump come on i actually went um, to a school in savannah so film, i went to <laughs> film school there so yeah i loved it oh beautiful city Beautiful city. Thoroughly enjoyed my time there. Um, I'm a huge, huge, uh, and this, this is, this is what I was referring to a few years ago. I found myself in um, San Francisco, mm-hmm. always had wanted to see San Francisco. Um, so I did all the usual things, Alcatraz and, you know, all the mm-hmm. touristy stuff. Um, come, come home and a couple of years later, get into this hobby. And I love, love, love Alfred Hitchcock. Um, uh, I'm, I'm going to, I have a Hitchcock tattoo on my back. So I'm going to uh, totally get you. Our dog's name is Tippy. Uh, I love it. I mean, I'm going to put him up there right with Vince Gilligan. Um, oh, so cool. I was in Alfred Hitchcock country, San Francisco. Yes. I mean, the yeah. birds, vertigo. I, 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 and, so uh, and I didn't. I mean, I do remember literally standing at the base of the Golden Gate Bridge where the, the lady goes into the water. But it was at that time, it was right over my head. Right. So I want to go back and do that. Um, but I did do, while I was in Savannah, I did um, Cape Fear, the original Cape Fear, which is not a Hitchcock movie, but everybody right. thinks it is because right, the, right. Director, the director tried to make it, you know, he was paying an homage himself to Hitchcock. Mm-hmm. So um, I did that. I did a little bit of... Um, Cobra Kai, there okay. wasn't enough time to do everything. What else did I, um, it was kind of a little bit of everything in Georgia. Um, when I was in Oregon last year, I did some, uh, one floor with the cuckoo's nest stuff. Sure. Jack Nicholson, yeah. yep. one of my I actually lived favorite in movies. Portland for the past three and a half years. So I, oh. that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> um, I love that state. I love mm. you, you know, the coast on one side, the Willamette Valley in the middle. Gorgeous. Yeah the mountain regions on the other side. So I'll be going back. I've got to go back. I've got to go to the um, Timberline Lodge, you know, the classic, yes. um, the shining, of course, I've got to do, I can't live with my, see, now it's getting to, this was just kind of a casual thing to now it's like, I, I cannot live with myself if I don't accomplish certain things. So totally, yeah. Certain um, movies that I just love, I've got to get to these places. I've got to get to the hotel that inspired the hotel and the shining. I've just got to, or I cannot die happy. <laughs> I 100% agree. <laughs> Definitely. So I don't know. Um, it's become an obsession. Uh, I'm planning to go. Um, I'm actually going to Camp Crystal Lake in three weeks. Oh, you are. So you got tickets for that and everything? I did. The original Camp oh, Crystal so Lake. Bu- Man, I was supposed to go to that, but I, I, I'm i too busy. But uh, that's that's going to be amazing. I'm so jealous. I know. I mean, when that movie came out, I was a kid and that scared right. the living babies out of me, even though now you look at it and maybe it's not so scary by today's standards, but right. so I'm going to be doing that. And while I'm there, I'm going to hit up some Sopranos locations. Okay. Um, I found a few Joker scenes that from the Joker okay. were filmed in Newark. So I'm going to try to do that. It depends on how sketchy the areas are. Yes. Um, then in two weeks after that, I'm going back to Albuquerque to try to redo some of my breaking bad things that are no longer, um, the quality just isn't there for me. Mm-hmm. And, um, and then in, uh, 
November for Thanksgiving, I want to go back home to Chicago. All the years I was living in Chicago, did I ever go see the Home Alone house or the Blues <laughs> Brothers or, or Dark Knight? No, yeah. but, <laughs> right, but right. now that I've discovered this or Ferris Bueller, or, you know, you yes. go on and on and on. Groundhog Day. So I'm hoping to um, go back and hit up some Chicago locations. And then next year, I, I haven't gotten to that yet. But totally. this, this is like, I have a day job corporate mm -hmm. management job that okay. pays the bills and I do enjoy it. I enjoy being able to, in the role I'm in, I get to help and support people and I do enjoy it, but is it, is exhilarating? Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. Well, it's work. Right. Right. <laughs> right. Exactly. Yeah. I hundred, I mean, I was, so I work in video production. I work in like the advertising world. And so, you know, hence my love for film and, you know, I love travel, like literally the same as you. I mean, we very similar story here and I mean, one of the reasons why, you know, I, we started this whole thing and, you know, the app in general, or just like, you know, just this, just like talking to people is like, cause I would love to make this more of a, you know, a living of mine, you know, like, you know, it's, it's work that I enjoy, you know, it's a passion. So it's something yes. that I would love to do more full time that, if I could. That's actually a perfect word, passion. And, um, you know, when I do something, like I don't do anything halfway, um, I believe anything worth doing is worth doing with passionate intensity. I don't know where I heard that 100%. quote somewhere, but um, right now, well, I always feel this way. I don't know. I mean, this came out of nowhere um, and I love it and I want to do more and I love doing it. I love sharing it with other people that get it. I've had the opportunity to do that once or twice, okay. but um, I recently um, got a uh, tripod and figured out Nice. I can do this on my own too. So I right. hope to continue. I hope to up, continue to up the quality. Sometimes um, you have to make a choice between quantity or quality. Yes. You know, if you're in a city and you only have a couple days, do you want to get as many places as you can? Or do you just want right. to narrow it down and get it really precise? So um, that's kind of the area I'm in right now, trying to figure that all out. Okay, cool. Now, do you do you use a camera? Like, what kind of camera do you use? Do you use your phone or? You know, I just use my phone. I was actually leaning towards yeah. getting a, um because one of the people that really inspired me, who's just, I think, one of the best that does this, obviously has professional camera equipment. And I was thinking of um, going that route. But then I got this iPhone 12 and I've had some people him even including him um just amazed at the quality of the photographs that you're able to get with it and some have told me that you can get even better quality with this than you can with a professional camera um unless oh. you really know how to play with all the settings right. like a professional photographer which of course i don't so so for now i think i'm just gonna keep going with this i don't know I mean, we'll see. phones are the way to go i mean honestly like you're gonna post it on anyway it's gonna compress it anyway so it's gonna look similar I mean, and it's, true. sometimes it's easier, you know, accessibility is easier. You can kind of move it around a lot more and get a little more different angles. So there's definitely pros and cons for sure. But um, yeah, that's so fascinating. Cause I, I mean, I use my phone and I have a camera as well, but depending on, you know, the locations I go to, but uh, yeah, I'm actually going to Chicago next week. Oh. Um, never been. So I'm very excited to go. It's nice. like been the top of my list forever. Yeah. I'm actually going to a dark night screening at one of the locations. So, oh my gosh. Yeah. I don't know if you've heard of Onset Cinema. Um, his name's Kenny uh, Myers House. I don't know if you've heard of him at all. So he, he lives in North Carolina. He, he built his house as an exact replica as the Myers House. And he, and he goes around the country. Actually, you should, I don't know if there's any tickets left, but uh, they're actually doing a screening. I'm going to it. It's in October at the Timberland Lodge for the <gasps> Shining. So I don't know. Yeah, you should check it out because I'm, I'm going to be there. But anyway, he tours the country and kind of goes to different locations and shows the movie and, you know, sometimes has cast or crew members or whoever kind of wants to chat. And, you know, they make it like an event and it's super cool. I've never been, but I've talked to some people who have been and I'm very excited to kind of check it out and meet everybody who's going to be there. So. so how do I find out about I mean, that sounds like. Yeah. Right now. You I'll send you an email. I'll send you an email to his uh, website and you can check. He's got like, you know, there's so many events coming up and there's just, you know, tickets and merch and all this cool stuff. So I would definitely check it out if you're interested in that. Um, and I, he did I like would. the conjuring and he did, you know, he does the children of the corn and he kind of goes everywhere and it's fascinating. So it's kind of perfect for people that. like us. Yeah, exactly. So um, I'm, I'm just so happy that I discovered this community. Um, you know, I've done the traditional life, working hard, climbing the corporate ladder, building the home sure. with the white picket fence and all that stuff you're supposed to do. And now I'm just like, 
<laughs> eh, I need more. <laughs> yep. I need more. And then this came along and it just fulfills my need for adventure. And like I said, um, tucks right in with my interest for film and that whole industry. It's, I know the people that work in it probably think we're nuts, but to me, it's very fascinating. It's very fascinating to be in a location where, you know, you'll, you'll, have, you'll see a, screen, a scene on camera where uh, a character's running down a street, and then they turn the corner and then they go into a building. And then you get there and in real life, the street they're running down is five miles away, <laughs> right, from, right. you know, where they turn the corner. And, and it's just like, wow, the, what goes into this? It's just, I have such an appreciation for the art form and the work that goes into it. And then, mm-hmm. of course, there's a part of it that probably fulfills my little um, unrequited actress that lives inside me or whatever, you know, just stand there <laughs> sure. and make cute poses or whatever. I don't know. For sure. Oh, totally. <laughs> yeah, that's that's so funny because, you know, I'm an editor myself and uh, so I totally like appreciate it as well. And I was actually, I mean, definitely a smaller scale, but, you know, I live in St. Paul. So I was watching the Mighty Ducks the other day trying to get all those locations. And it was so funny because, you know, there's like a hill. I live right near a hill and I noticed that they were skating down the hill and I was like, oh, that's the hill. And then they, it's like the same shot, but they're in like a different location that I realized. I was like, wait, that's not how that's not where the road goes. And it's so yeah. funny because you watch it back and you go kind of frame by frame and you see where they cut it a little bit, but it's, yeah, it's cool to kind of see that, like you were saying, and it's like, it you know really where that is. is, but you know, people who don't know that area, like assume that that's what it looks like. So it's kind of fun to, yeah. And it that. makes you wonder what goes into that. Obviously they're looking for a specific right. look for every little scene. Um, mm-hmm. So it, it's just, I don't know, I'm probably repeating myself now, mm-hmm. but um like I said, it combines several things that I love. I now have a job where I can work from anywhere. So I could literally go That's anywhere, awesome. bring my computer, do my work, go out uh, after five and, and do my thing. And, um, you know, I'm freed up. I, it's just, it's kind of came along at the perfect time in my life when I needed it, maybe more than I knew. Mm-hmm. Um, and it makes me so happy. And I'm so happy to have met others, you know, at friendships, the friendships that have totally. come out of them. 100%. everyone's so nice too yeah it's great <laughs> because like okay like um you know you people used to talk about well where do I find people to date I'm finding it I find it hard just to find people to be a friend with and because you know right. where are you going to meet friends or people to date right it's going to be at work and in my position it's kind of hard to be commingling with the staff or commingling ain't the right word but you know you have a position to uphold and you know um, or if you go to school, well, I, I'm way past school days, so I'm not going to meet friends there, but I've, I've found a community and I've made friends here and That's it's so wonderful. Cool. I know. I would love to kind of get everyone together someday and just kind of go on a little trip or something, or that would be so fun. But, uh, yeah, I totally agree. Everyone's been so nice and, you know, generous yeah. with locations and sharing addresses and things like that. And it's, it's a great, I was just going to say, it seems like, uh, everyone is supportive of each other haven't really obviously again newbie over here but i haven't come across people you know sabotaging each other it just seems to no. be a lot of, a lot of mutual love for the art and and for for the production art as well as for what we do i don't right. know if you could really call it art um yeah and supporting each other and encouraging each other i love it it's like where has this been all my life <laughs> Seriously, though, like, because I've always known about like, you know, I was like, oh, that's cool. It was shot there. But I never thought about, you know, making like a living of it or like a, you know, a personal hobby of mine. It's Yeah, it's fascinating, so exactly. It, and it all I owe it all to Vince Gilligan. If you're out there, if you're listening, I love you. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and Breaking Bad, because sure, that's where yeah. it all started for me. Um, and, you know, years ago, a lot of shows uh, or productions were, were probably not filmed on location, you know, back in the days of the studio. Right. And if they were, there was no Internet. So how would you ever know the location? So I think mm. um, as the world has progressed, um, so have we. So oh. and now I, there's probably so many of us doing it. It's, um, you know, uh, hopefully it doesn't get to be too much. Right. Um, hopefully we all have our own little um style or or something to say that differs from what the other guy has to say you know I was just I was this is I was just actually asking a friend about this last week we all go to the Walter White House we all stand in front of it how do I make mine different from yours or different from the other guys so that's kind of where I am now trying to figure out how to be a little creative how to make mine say something that the other guys didn't say um 
Sure. I don't know how I'm doing on that so far, but I'm going to keep trying to get better. I mean, I think you're doing great. I mean, it stood out to me immediately. I mean, something different is unique, different, and it was great. So I definitely think you're making a name for yourself a little bit. So well, thank you so much. I know I have to come up with a more clever name. I, I have to work on that. Yeah, so. that'll come in time though. Not super important right now. <laughs> yeah. And I don't know how you get, I look at these people that have like three, 5,000 followers. I and I'm like 50. <laughs> <laughs> You'll get there. <laughs> Like once people start kind of, you know, following everybody and they'll do, I don't know. I, it took, took a while for me to kind of figure everybody out. So I'm still in the process of it, you know, every day. So I, it's kind of fun to find people as well. It's cool to see. And something that I've noticed as well is a lot of, you know, people in the UK and, you know, European, it's huge out there, which I had no idea. And I was Mm -hmm. like, this is fascinating. I guess there were so many movies shot out there and shows and it's, it's cool that it's a good global thing, you know? (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Um, for now, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to figure out how you, you stay on top of this, but if somebody, did you hear that? Yeah, no worries. <laughs> that's my, uh, that's my message tone. I love that. Um, <laughs> I, uh, I'll see somebody liked something of mine and then I'll go look them up and I'll see, oh, they do the same thing and then I'll follow them. And so that's how I'm little by little finding these people. But, um, you know, how do you stay on top of everybody and see everybody's content? I haven't quite gotten there yet. So I'm, I'm, not, I'm still not there. It. Yeah. Yeah. It's <laughs> um, a lot. Now, I don't know if you were when you're in California. Did you ever go to Bodega Bay uh, for the birds? Years and years ago, I was there okay. um, with a, a person. I was uh, we went to the wine, the wine country okay. and, and I was a, a Hitchcock fan then. And we did go there. Did I take pictures? No. Gotcha. Right, <laughs> yeah. Right. So that's another um redo i mean i think i literally took pictures of um bodega bay but i didn't you know do shots trying to mirror the movie i do remember going to the restaurant you know where they all hid um and i remember they had a gift shop Mm -hmm. did i buy anything no i mean honestly it's like you know it is true what they say the older you get the better you get and i would like to go back and redo a few things. Um, so I'm going to get back there. I'm going to get oh. back to San Francisco and do all the Hitchcock stuff and work my way up to Bodega Bay and um, lots of places. I was in Seattle a couple years ago. Awesome. I saw the, what's that thing called? That lives under the bridge that everybody goes to. Oh, um, I don't know. This is, I know exactly what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah, it was in a movie, but did I get a picture with it? No. <laughs> right, of course uh saw the big waterfall that was used at the beginning of twin peaks did i take a picture of myself in front of it no (laughs) well at least you know now kind of where they are (laughs) yeah and you know that's another thing i mean as as crazy as it sounds we're all busy in our lives doing our work going to school whatever our life consists of raising a family whatever Mm -hmm. sometimes it's it takes effort to plan a travel to plan a trip oh yeah you know um, and sometimes I had a period where maybe I just didn't even have the energy for it. Like, Oh, right. I don't have the energy to think of where to go and then figure out what to do when I get there and book the ticket and the hotel. But now it's like, I live for it. And the first thing I think of is, okay, what was filmed there? You know? So yeah. sometimes I'll go someplace specifically for a uh, filming production. And right. sometimes I'll go someplace like Oregon, the Oregon coast, for example, I went there for vacation, but while I was there, I did, um, kindergarten cop, mm-hmm. you know, Goonies. filmed in Astoria. Um, the Goonies, of course, who can go to Astoria and not do the Goonies. Right. <laughs> um, talk about feeling like a kid. I was able to get up because for years, the Goonie house was off limits. Yes, yes. Signs all over the place. Don't come up. Well, I guess the owner had a change of heart. Um, oh. Not sure exactly why. I have a few theories, but now she put up a donation box. Oh, that's great. Yeah. And all the signs that say go away are gone. So I went there and I was nervous as heck. And I walked up that hill and I stood there and it's like, oh, oh there it is. You know? <laughs> I mean, it almost brought a tear to my eye. Mm-hmm. That's, that's when I knew I was in this. Um, I was I was in trouble. I was in deep. <laughs> but, uh, so that was a vacation. But while I was there, I fit in some movie stuff. So, you know, um, it's kind of a little bit of both. OK, now. Now, like finding locations, now how do you, like, when you go about doing that, do you enjoy the thrill of like finding them yourself or do you kind of like when they're provided to you or how does that work for you? Well, both. I mean, certainly yeah. the internet, you got there, you can find locations for just about anything, but then sometimes you have to get creative and find things on your own. And sometimes yeah. that's even more fun to find right. something like 
Oh, recently, um, I live in the Austin area and I went to, um, all the locations from death proof Quentin Tarantino. Mm -hmm. And, um, there's a a billboard. There's a scene in the beginning of the movie where the girls are driving down this road that kind of takes a curve. And there's the billboard with jungle Julia, the, one of the Mm -hmm. characters. And I'm like, where was that billboard? I mean, it's gotta be around here somewhere. Right. So I was on Twitter one day and I think I was looking up Quentin Tarantino and it just randomly some came across some tweet that someone had made a year ago about um, living here at the time and seeing the jungle Julia billboard and thinking that there was like a new DJ in town. <laughs> <Amazing>. <laughs> so I, you know, reached out to him. And I'm like, Hey, where was that billboard? And he told me. And so I was like, Oh my God, that, that was like, nobody knew where that billboard was. Amazing. That's so you know, cool. So that, that kind of felt like a huge score and that took a little detective work. Um, totally. It's like satisfying yeah, or, when you can do that. Yeah satisfying indeed but more and more the information is out there so um there's not a lot of uh homework you have to do on your own anymore right but yes it's satisfying to do both so i like both cool that's interesting yeah it's cool to hear how you know how people go about it because i've heard multiple i've heard both ways so it's kind of fun to hear um now being in austin have you been to like the days and confused locations and i have not not yet um yeah i actually hadn't even seen that movie oh, believe really? it or not, until recently okay so so yeah it's not something i've gotten to yet gotcha. um it's quite i a bunch still want to do you know i have mixed feelings about um <clears throat> texas chainsaw massacre when okay. i first saw it did i think it was a good movie not particularly but all these years later I can certainly appreciate it for what it was at the time and the horror that it instilled on a low budget with like right. no blood and gore hardly, you know? So yeah. as you get older, you can appreciate things for what they are, even if you don't particularly enjoy them. 100%. And Texas Chainsaw Massacre, I mean, that was, it's right here. It's in my backyard and I haven't yeah. been to that yet. So that's okay. another thing I have to do. <laughs> it's cool. We went there. Uh, we went to like the original locations then the 2003 remake locations as well. It's, it's pretty cool. I mean, it's funny. I mean, my girlfriend wasn't, you know, she's not super into it like I am. So, you know, we were in the car for four and a half hours driving around Texas, got into these locations, but it was so fun. It was totally worth it. And just exploring, you know, it's another cool way to explore a city, you know, like yeah. that was like my first time in Austin slash Texas in general. And it was just like, oh, I've never been in these places. And I probably never, ever would have gone unless these locations weren't here. So exactly. It gives you a reason to go somewhere and it gets you out and it gets you seeing things you wouldn't have seen. I want to go see the um, the house from the original, which is now apparently a restaurant. Yes. And I saw something on YouTube one day where the guy that played um, the chainsaw face. guy, drawing yeah. a blank. Gunnar Hansen. Le- Leatherface, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, when he was uh, swinging the axe in the doorway, he accidentally hit the, the frame and he said, those nicks are still in that frame today. Oh, really? So if you go to the restaurant, it'd be kind of cool. I don't know why that's interesting to me, but it is. I love that. No, that's so cool. <laughs> yeah, I love that kind of little detail. So do I, yeah. um, Recently, when I went to get my COVID vaccine, where the um, vaccine was, um, mm-hmm. practically across the street was the barn used in the Friday the 13th remake that was filmed in no Texas. Way. Yeah. Oh, cool. Did so, you know at the time when mm-hmm. you went? Did you know that that was where it was filmed when you went to get your vaccine? Or No, a friend had told me that it was in Round Rock, Texas, and gotcha. it just yeah. happened it was across the street from where I was getting my vaccine. So. I got a lot of neat shots out there. So that was kind of fun. Oh, that's so cool. I only think it was in one scene in the movie, but um, yeah, yeah, at some point we're supposed to go out and do um, the other locations from the movie too. Mm -hmm. But yeah, there's, there's actually been quite a a lot filmed here that I was not um, aware of. So Mm -hmm. it's definitely something fun to do. (laughs) Get out of the house, gives you a reason to go explore. And then you discover other things you maybe wouldn't have discovered too, other than so what else are you gonna do? Just sit home all your life? Right, right. I yeah, no. <laughs> There's a whole world out there just waiting to be discovered and explored and have fun with. So. Oh my gosh. And like, you know, ev- you know, new movies come out, you know, all the time. New locations are gonna always come out. It's just like an ever, you know, ever growing activity, which is awesome. So I think that's super cool. It is. The one thing I, I would like to say is um like my friend who's been to Albuquerque numerous years and has been doing this for a long time. Mm -hmm. As the years have gone by, it seems, and and maybe as more people are doing this, it seems the owners of these properties are getting more and more um, strict, having more security, 
right. putting up more gates. I don't know if it's just they're getting tired of it or if um, if people that are visiting these properties are being disrespectful, right. you know, causing damage. I, I don't know. But I would just hope that anybody that has this passion when they go out would do this and be respectful. Give the businesses your business, you know, treat the private properties with respect as you would want your own treated. Because I don't want to see this become where everything is just off limits to everybody. No, no, no. Um, you know, the Walter White House is a great example. Um, I, I feel like the owners of the house had no idea what they were getting into when they agreed to let their home be shown in this in this series. And now I think it's like number the one of the number one, if not the number one house that people yep. have to go by. Even if people don't watch Breaking Bad, if they're in Albuquerque, right. hey, we got to go see the Walter White House. Right. And it got so insane where people were throwing pizzas on their roof. <laughs> I mean, that they've had to put up you know, a fence all the way on the prop around the property and Such a um, it, yeah, it doesn't have to be like that. Let's just all have our fun, but let's be no. respectful and treat these properties and the owners with respect and everybody can have a good time that way. And we can all share our experiences. Definitely. Yeah. I just want other people to like have the same experience that I had when I went to that location. It's like, I don't, you know, I don't like when people ruin it either. It's like, we're all doing the same thing. We all have the same passion, you know, let's all just you know, and that's something that we really strive for is like private property type of thing. Cause you know, I've seen people go, you know, literally go on someone's porch and just like take a photo. I'm like, you can do that, but you should ask their permission at least, you know, just don't go on their porch and take a photo. Like that's like, that could ruin it. You know, they could build yeah. a fence or something like that. And it's, it's just unfortunate because you want it to be how it, it you know, is. Seen it or, and, you know, I, I have to admit when I like that first trip in June of 19, I went and stood on uh, a yeah, porch. I mean, well, totally. I don't know if I stood on the porch. I stood on the walkway leading to the porch. Cause even then I was a little, um, but cause I didn't know any better then, but right. now that I do, yeah. I mean, your first couple of times, you're not going to know. Like the first time, a couple of times I did this, I didn't know. And it's like, you learn over the next, you're like, oh wait, I should probably, you know, if I lived in that house, I probably wouldn't want someone just running up on my porch. So I, I totally get, yeah. I mean, everyone's got, you know, they got to figure that out for themselves. And yeah, I've even gone so far, um, not that I've had huge success, but I'm writing property owners a letter before I go out. To That's a good idea. That's asking really if, idea. is it okay? Um, <laughs> I haven't had great success with that, but sure, at least you at try least that. I know I'm doing the right thing. <laughs> mm -hmm. Have you had any like bad experiences with that? You know, has anyone ever come out and said anything, you know, or bad experiences? Um, you know, I don't know that I have had bad experiences. The worst, like uh, I went to a restaurant one time in Albuquerque and um, honestly, I mean, I would have sat there and had lunch if I hadn't already, had, I was with some friends and we had already had lunch mm -hmm. and this lady was just like staring at us the whole time because we were just walking around and um, going, oh, this is where Walt sat or this is where Walt was right. on the phone and um, we would have sat and had a, a drink or something, but there, the bar was, there was a lady playing music at the bar. So it was really kind of off limits. So we just took a few pictures and left, but this lady was like following us around, giving us dagger eyes the whole time. And that was a little weird, yeah. I mean, but I get it that she was probably thinking, well, are you going to eat or not? You know? And right, um, so right. I, I, I can, we were probably guilty of not giving that business the proper respect at that time. So I've mm -hmm. learned my lesson from that. Now I, my friend that does this, he's, he's gone places, um, who has, he's been doing this for years and he's, ex, he's spectacular. He's had guns pulled on him. So, I mean, I know that it can get, you know, you gotta be careful out there. Oh, sure. Yeah. Especially yeah, in sure. some of the, you know, sketchier areas for sure. And that's something you don't realize, like when you're like, oh, this place looks cool. And then you go in person, it's completely different than what you think it is. And I've had experiences like that before. And I mean, I, I assume, I don't know if you've experienced that at all, but I know in Georgia, it can be like that a little bit near Atlanta, at least. Um, but yeah, it's yeah. That's something we also want to try to kind of convey a little more is like the accessibility and the, you know, the safety factor in a way, like, you know, if something's all boarded up or if there's, you know, scaffolding or if it's anything, I think knowing that before kind of would be super beneficial, you know, cause you're, since you're not driving two hours for a location that yeah. you don't be able to see, so yeah, like there's an area in Albuquerque that I would kind of like to go back to when I go back in September, but I heard they put up a sign that says, you know, outsiders aren't welcome. So I really don't want to make the truck all the way out there 
right. you know, if that sign is still there, but how do I find out? But um, exactly. yeah, I, I was recently, when I was in Georgia, I did experience, it was very different from Albuquerque where this hobby started because everywhere you went in Georgia, it felt like there was a lot more security. And mm -hmm. I think part of that was because you were basically still on, you were on active filming sets, you know, right. if you went to a house from Stranger Things, they're currently filming Stranger Things. So um, I felt like everywhere you went, there was more security guards. We, I was approached more times saying, okay, just take a couple pictures and gotcha. get on your way. Um, almost felt like I was doing something wrong in a way, you know, they made me feel like I was doing something wrong, but I don't mm. think I was doing something wrong. I'm in right. a city street taking a couple pictures and I'm going to go on my way. Um, but I did go to one property that I, I was not aware of ignorance, um, mm. got there and two dogs came running out and they weren't huge dogs, but they were larger wow. dogs. And you don't know, two dogs come charging at you. You don't know. Right. <laughs> so I ran for the car. That, that, oh that, actually, that probably would have been my scariest experience. Um, Whoa. got in the car, I was with some friends, turned out the dogs were perfectly friendly, but <laughs> you know, my, one of my friends ended up petting one of the dogs, but you don't know that you see two strange, no. relatively large dogs coming at you. You don't know what to think. And then at this particular location, as I told my, my other friend about this, who's been doing this forever, um, he, of course, has been to that spot. And he said, oh, yeah, when I went there, I had a gun pulled on me. And I'm like, oh, oh gosh. Jeez. <laughs> so um, I, I think maybe those dogs were intended to scare people off. I think that particular location doesn't appreciate visitors, but I didn't know that going in. So. Right. Exactly. And you never know. <laughs> it's so do your sad. research, you know, because if 100%. you do you'll find out where the places that really don't want you, the people that own the Walter White House, they really don't want you coming no, by. No. They really don't. If you really want to see the Walter White House, go on the Breaking Bad tour. They will take you there. And the owners of the property are perfectly fine with the people that are on that tour, getting off the bus and taking a picture in front of the house. For sure. I mean, that's what it's for, you know, like that's the tour is for that. So, yeah. But so. um, that, yeah, I'm like, you know, going back to Chicago, you know, I'm definitely going to go to the McAllister house from home alone. And I'm, I've heard like, I don't know if it's a new owner or someone recently, but I'm, I, I've heard it's, they may be kind of weird about visitors. So I'm hoping that that doesn't become the same situation as the Breaking Bad house, because it's like a beautiful house. I mean, it's, I don't want a dumb fence in the front, you know, like <laughs> I want it to look how it does. So. I could be wrong, but I thought I heard they did put up a fence. Oh, but... did they? Maybe you might be right. I haven't, I mean, I haven't really done my research yet. Um, I but... may be wrong. It, it's so interesting because you will go some places and you get the stink eye yes. and, and it's their property. So they're right. entitled. Um, right. And then you go other places. Like we went to a restaurant that was used in the filming of Ozark. Mm -hmm. And these two characters had a meal in a booth. You go there and there's literally a plaque on the wall saying, That's cool. this is the booth where, that. you know, so-and-so yeah. sat. So some places really embrace it and some yep. places not so much. Oh, <laughs> there was, um, and you'll probably know what I'm talking about. <laughs> there was a um, motel used in Breaking Bad. <laughs> oh, yes. And uh, when I went there in 2019, Breaking Bad had been off the air for how long at that point? Um, and the manager, I guess, in the office came out screaming, it's been 10 years. And, you know, like she was so annoyed that I was standing in her parking lot trying to take a oh picture. Oh my gosh. Um, again, it's good for business. People are, totally. but then again, I wasn't giving them business on that day. I was just trying to take a picture and be on my way. <laughs> um, but from what I understand, that same motel is going to make an appearance in the sixth season of Better Call Saul. They allowed oh, it to be yeah. used again. So as far as okay. I'm concerned, they're right. going to be having more visitors. They better be prepared for that. Oh, totally. But again, be respectful. Yeah, hundred percent. I, and I do, I do appreciate when people are embracing it. You know, I, you know, going back to the Halloween locations, we went to, um, I did like the VIP tour one year of all the Halloween locations, which was really cool. In California? Mm -hmm. in Pasadena and uh it was awesome but we went to uh Lori Strode's house and um it was so cool you know how I mean you're familiar with Halloween right oh yeah oh, okay yeah. okay okay <laughs> just make it sure because sometimes oh, you know, some, you, I don't know you're crazy oh. if you aren't but uh, <laughs> um so you know the like the corner where she sits with the pumpkin so she, that's like right next to her house. So it's so cool. Like the owner embraces it. She, the the woman puts out like a bowl of candy and she puts out pumpkins for you to sit with on the corner. 
and take oh photos. Gosh, really? It's super cool. And she like came out and talked to us and like, you know, Hey, there's like a newspaper clipping from when they shot it. And like, it was just so cool. And like, she loved it. And I was like, that's so cool. I love when people do that. And it's just fun, you know, fun to hear experiences and you know, what they saw during the shooting. And, you know, of course this Halloween, especially like it's such a low budget horror film from the seventies. No one knew it was going to be this popular ever. And she's probably like, yeah, you can use this, you know, almost like a student film, but it's, I love that. A, I love the that. masterpieces. Yeah. There's um in, in Albuquerque, there's a business by the name of the candy lady. Okay. And she is the one that made the blue crystal, um, you know, oh. it's actually like blue rock candy. No way. Will, the crystal meth. And if you go fictional crystal meth. Right, right, right. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> um, and if you go into her store in the back room, she's got this su- supply of all this blue rock candy and she's got cardboard cutouts of Walt and Jesse and you could stand there and like have That's your picture awesome. taken you know so she's embracing it um the car wash was embracing it the last time i was there although i've i've heard that they've maybe changed things a little bit so i'm mm. i don't know about that gotcha. but yeah um some places embrace it some places don't um i can kind of understand why the private residences might get tired of it especially yeah. since there's more and more of us right right but for the businesses it's it's good for business totally I hope, oh yeah I hope they would see it that way I do too. I mean, and I hope that if people do go, like you were saying, you know, at least get like a cup of coffee or something to kind of support something. them. Yeah. And I like to have a souvenir too. Oh, hundred percent. Right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was funny. I was talking to, uh, I don't know if you know, you know, his name's Set Jetter on Instagram. Yeah. Robert. Yeah, mm-hmm. Super cool. Yeah. I chatted with him not too long ago and he told me the story where he, you know, he went for the new Halloween film was shot in Charleston. So he mm-hmm. went there like before the movie even came out and he, cause he like talked to some people who worked on the movie and he went up to the house and like asked if he could take photos. And she's like, yeah, sure. Come inside. Like I'll give you a tour of where they were and everything. And he's like, okay, great. And then she, then he, she's like, oh yeah, this is the skillet that she uses. And and, she, and he's like, oh, you should sell it. And the woman's like, oh, you can just have it. And so they just gave it to him. And I was like, that's so cool. Like you never know what you're going to get or who you're going to talk to. You might end up being so lucky and getting that experience and it's just cool. <laughs> Souvenirs. It are, is. You're yeah. right. You never know what you're going to get. Um, right now they're all, all my experiences are starting to run together, which is funny because this yes. didn't even exist two years ago. Right. Right. But, um, yeah, sometimes it's awesome and it, it, it's a conversation starter. That's for sure. Oh, totally. Yeah. It's funny because, you know, I'll, you know, I'll be talking They're like, you know, we went to Bodega Bay for my birthday a couple of years ago. And, you know, the trip was specifically to go to Sonoma County for the screen locations, as well as the birds. And, you know, they're like, oh, why are you going to California? I was like, oh, we're going to go see movie locations. And they're like, they're like, you're going just right? for that. And I was like, yes, I am. <laughs> and the, <laughs> yes, craziest I am. Part is, the craziest part is we were in the, have you been to the screen locations or no in Sonoma County? No. Okay, cool. Um, it's, it's great. No. Beautiful area. I mean, you went to wine country, so, you know, but, uh, we went to the community center where the high school was and we were inside taking photos. And, you know, I, there was like, I had like five of my friends behind me just taking videos and photos of me. And it was my birthday. I was like, I'm taking advantage of this. Do everything I say. It's my birthday. <laughs> but, um, I was taking photos and all these people were in there and they're like, Oh, like, what are you doing? And I was like, Oh, I'm taking photos. You know, screen was shot here. And they're none of them knew no one knew that. And I was like, that's kind of cool, but also kind of crazy. <laughs> I've had that too. I've gone into locations and, and- they're, and I'll say, well, I'm here trying to recreate the scene from whatever. And they're like, no way. Uh, actually <laughs> went to New Orleans in February. Um, Brian Cranston had had a mini series on Showtime called Your Honor. Yep. And New Orleans is like a eight, nine hour drive from here. So a friend and I decided to go and we did awesome. all the locations from that. And um, while we were there, we also did some American Horror Story stuff, um, mm-hmm. Freak Show and Coven. Um, yep. And we went to this bar in a hotel that was used, I guess it was in Coven, because that's yep. where um, Jessica Lang's Lang. character picks yep. up the, the, the action man. man. Yep. And they're like, and we're like, oh, we're here to take a picture because you know American Horror Story was filmed. And I'm like, no, it wasn't. And we're like, yeah, it was. And I'm like, no, it wasn't. And we're like, yeah, it was. <laughs> Amazing. So I pull up the clip on Netflix, play it for them. They're like, yeah, it was. <laughs> That's hilarious. That's so funny. When we know more about the places than the people that work there. It's right. Exactly. <laughs> oh, that's so cool though. New Orleans is a place I got to get to. I feel like that's, t- I mean, I've heard it's like Savannah in a way. And I, I just love that. In How a way, is it? it's, 
old and okay. it's south and you've got you know the old historic mansions and, and okay. the, plant, the plantations you know mm-hmm. are a little yeah. Yeah. these <laughs> days um you don't want to admit really that you went um right, right. but a lot of the history is the same okay uh the cities felt very different although the the river the saturday night i spent on the riverfront in savannah reminded me of sure my saturday night in new orleans yeah. <laughs> it gets a little crazy down there um but i mean that was see that all these years i've been right there and it took a show to get me to go there and i fell in love with the city i absolutely fell in love i had no idea i would love it as much as i did so now i can't wait to go back mm-hmm. Of course, I had to do some NCIS New Orleans while I was there. Of too. course. <laughs> I mean, how can you not? Right. So, yeah, I mean, I just, I don't know. It's just, it's a, it's a newfound passion that completely fulfills me. And I'll tell you the, the one downer about it, the one downer, maybe you can relate. Maybe you can give me some advice. Mm-hmm. You plan a trip. You look forward to it. You do your research. That's part of the fun. You get there. You live it. You're having a ball. You get home. Maybe you manage your content and then you're done. And the trip's over and then you're like yeah now what so the only solution i found is plan the next one because um yeah. i don't know i don't know if this is an addiction but if it is it's it's a fun one <laughs> totally agree no 100 percent. i feel you there i mean i went to wilmington north carolina recently and you know when i came home it was i went to so many locations there and i came back and i was like okay now where am i gonna go next you know and it's it's definitely an addiction in a in a, in a one in a fun way um but yeah, I don't know. I think just kind of living the moment when you're there is kind of the most important thing. Cause I feel like that's what I haven't, I want to, you know, go back to some locations where I've been before, you know, early on when I started this, like you were saying, you know, I didn't get the right photo or anything. It's, you don't really appreciate it as much when you were there, but like nowadays I go to a location and I just kind of like breathe it in, you know, soak it in. And that's what you got to do. I feel like for every location, just like that, you really want to see at least. And it's, it's just like, uh, just appreciate exactly. everything that went into it. And yes. Yeah, that goes back to what we're saying about quantity over quality. I do want to, I do take a moment to just sit there, just take it all in and just, you know, just stand there for a minute, Mm -hmm. not just, okay, hurry up, get the picture. Let's get to the next one. I want to soak it in. Um, Even like the businesses that are used in the production. I want to sit there. I want to have that cup of coffee. I want to, I sat on that bench in the Covington square where, oh, Dr. Sleep. That was another question I did. Um, I just sat on that bench for, I don't know how long, just. That's awesome taking it all in. I mean, it's just, I can't, you're right. You can't explain it. You can't so. I, like, I've tried <laughs> so many different people, so many different ways. It just doesn't, it never comes out right. And I'm like, I just, I'm sorry. I can't explain this. It's just, yeah. <laughs> you either get it or you don't. And, um, I, I feel like the joke, uh, Joaquin Phoenix at the end of the Joker, you wouldn't get it. Yes. <laughs> oh. My favorites. Um, oh. and it's almost like there's like, there's almost a little bit of, I don't even want, I, almost you don't even want to tell certain people because you know they wouldn't get it and right. then you're going to get that look and and it'll there, it'll have an element of shame associated with it and I don't, I don't got room for that so no, of course not no. just not going to tell people that I know wouldn't get it right and like I'll tell you know like my parents are like oh that's so cool like they they appreciate that I love it so I'm like okay I'll tell you guys but it's you know it's certain people yeah there's like oh cool nice yeah <laughs> I'm like all right <laughs> bye <laughs> So I live in this little secret society. Yes. It's kind of fun. It's kind of cool to, you know, have that little group. Yeah. Cause at work, you know, it's all <clears throat> buttoned yes. up and professional and yeah. yes, you obviously some of your, yourself comes through, but it's business and it's yeah. corporate and, you know, and then I get out there and it's just like, I'm in front of whatever. And right, I, right. Feel, I feel like a four-year-old and 100%. doing silly things. This is where Jason Voorhees was standing, you know, I know. <laughs> oh. So cool. <laughs> I love that. I, know. But. I don't know. It's crazy, but it's wonderful. And I'm glad so many people are finding it. And um, I just hope everybody continues to be respectful about it. And yes, agreed. Very much. It doesn't make the whole thing implode on us all. Right. Yes. But well, cool. I mean, I don't want to take up too much more of your time. And uh, I really appreciate you hopping on the call with me. It's been really fun talking. Yeah, it absolutely has. Thank you for, for asking. I've enjoyed talking to you about it. Yeah. Like I'm always gotta, down to chat. So yeah, our uh the secret society members, we gotta stick together. <laughs> we seriously do, honestly. And that's the beauty <laughs> of I guess Instagram and things like that. It's like you can kind of be in touch with everybody without actually being in touch, which is really nice. So yeah. It's a lot of effort sometimes to be in touch with people. So it's Instagram is perfect for that situation. <laughs> it is. It's a lot of effort to do this and a lot of effort to stay in contact with other yes. human beings. That's for sure. So for sure. It gives us another reason to connect, which is another beautiful benefit of this whole thing. I've made friends, like I said, I never would have 
never would have met otherwise. So hundred percent agree. Well, well, cool. I mean, I'm, I'm sure we'll stay in touch on social and can't wait to see more of your posts in the future and thank you. to your location. So thank you so much. Yeah, I of course. It. Yeah. Well, cool. It's been great. It's been great talking to you. So if you ever, if you ever end like a, a movie location event and you know, let me know, and you know, maybe I'll be there too or something. Maybe we can all hang out or something at some point and we'll see yeah. what happens. <laughs> let me, yeah. Send me that info on the one. I will the definitely. Um, yeah. Definitely. He's got tons of events coming up, so there's tons to choose from. Um, yeah. Absolutely. Oregon yeah. in, in, in October. October. October is um, ninth, I believe. Because I know that could be a sketchy area to get up to in the winter. But yes. October, I think it's it'll be right before it should be at least. So, yeah. Should be good. Yeah, okay. I, mean, I don't want to say any false things, but I can assume it'll be okay. <laughs> yeah. It's the best I yeah. can do. But uh, yeah, I'll send you a link. And... That, we're we're going to have to get that red, you know, that big truck. Right, that, right. Um, Scatman <laughs> Crothers got. And oh, my gosh. Our, work our way up there. The snow cat. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Well, all right. right. Well, ha- have a great weekend. And uh, you we'll, we'll thank in you touch so much. Social. Yeah. All right. All right. Bye. Take care. You too. Bye. Bye.